Greetings friends, we're going to take a look at how to use Alex. So we're going to go to www.alex.com and you're going to need to sign in as a new user, so let's do that. The course code for us this semester is Q9E3T-R9CC4 and we're going to say continue. And that indeed is the class we want. Notice my name, Professor Capetta, College of DuPage. Now at this point you need to get your hands on an access code. If you have the funds today, just go ahead and purchase it. You can do that directly from Alex. If your financial aid requires you to buy it at the College of DuPage bookstore, you can do that as well. Just make sure that you say that you are in COD, Math 0482, Net 03. My software is a little bit different than what is being used in other sections. I have a temporary access code for those of you that cannot purchase it today. 013F5C547034. BC278 B0. And we will say continue. So all of those O's are zeros. As we wait for the internet to get ready for us. So we're going to go ahead and uh, put in a name. <clears throat> Type in your, your name. I'm just going to make something up. Call myself Robert Demo. My name at dupage.edu. Again, a password. And you need to, of course, accept the terms of the Alex agreement. So write down your login name. So my login name is R demo 4 and a copy of the login information will be sent to your email address. So I'm going to continue. And you're going to need to see if you have the plug-in. Chances are you probably won't, but Alex will do that for you. It'll load that onto your computer. You'll notice this is a temporary code. You're going to need to purchase a permanent code. Again, you can extend your account. Alex gives you many opportunities to buy that permanent code. As we continue. Okay, so you'll notice that we have a window here. This is a little opportunity for us to learn how to use the interface on Alex. So it says, click in the blue box below, type in the keyboard 14. It says, you successfully entered 14, now hit clear. Undo, we'll undo the clear. Next, take me to the next one. It says, click on the fraction button, so you go ahead and do that. Type in 2, click this blue box, type in 3, continuing. This time I'm going to do x plus 4, so clearly I'll need parentheses. Parentheses x plus 4, parentheses. Click on the exponent button. I'm going to do x plus 4 to the second power. Click in the blue circle to leave the exponent part, and then type in plus 7. Click on the blue circle, hold down the mouse button. Click in the blue circle. Move your mouse into the blue circle. And go to the fraction bar and then do the whole thing over three. And you can see I'm doing just fine on this. Click on the pencil button. Which I'll do. Mouse here, create a point. Click on the ruler button, move your mouse into the blue circle, move your mouse there, pencil button, move your mouse here, hold it down, there, you've got it. Next. Calculator information. Click on the calculator. Uh, using the keyboard, type 31. 
click in the box first. 31 plus 9 equals 40. Okay, next. So it says if you need help using Alex, click on the help button and um, fine. So now we're ready to go ahead and do the initial assessment, which is what you need to do. So read all this, no partial credit, it's not a final exam, don't rush, enter only your final answer in Alex, solve all problems without assistance, but certainly use a pencil and paper and go through that entire process as we're working on it. So I'm going to say next, and you'll see the first page of this. So here is a question for us to do, and obviously I'm not going to do the assessment question for you here, but I will show you that, that uh, there's our exponent button, there's our fraction button if you would need to do that. If you don't know how to do something, don't be afraid to click I don't know. There are 30 questions on the Alex initial assessment. Once the Alex initial assessment is done, it will tell you what you know and what you need to work on. And at that point, you'll, you're able to go ahead and get started. So that will conclude this video, and please get the Alex initial assessment done as soon as possible.